It's been a year since E. coli tainted spinach killed three people and sickened more than 200. But some lawmakers say eating a salad today is just as risky as it was before the outbreak. Nothing's much has changed other than a voluntary program that purports to work. Uh, the reality is, is that uh, today we still do not know, even after this last outbreak, where the source was, uh, who ultimately is responsible what the traceback mechanisms are in terms of on the field and in the factory. And so I don't think we're any different than we were last year other than no one got sick. Processors did create a new inspection system but with voluntary guidelines. We have a whole set of good agricultural practices that have been adopted uh, and they cover everything from testing the water more regularly and keeping records of those tests, uh, creating uh, uh, buffer zones where they're needed between our fields and, uh, and, and areas that might be threats. Um, uh, doing a lot more in the way of, uh, of, of worker hygiene on the farm. But those practices did not prevent bagged spinach tainted with salmonella from reaching grocery aisles in August. The test seems to be wait till someone dies, wait till someone gets very sick until we get very serious about food safety from a mandatory point of view. Uh, and it's very hard to hold people accountable there in a voluntary group in essence, uh, because there doesn't seem to be any sort of penalties at this point in time, and the reality is penalties will drive the industry to be safer. Critics say until mandatory national guidelines are implemented, more outbreaks are likely. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.